how how yeah. do we get better as believers as a church even at home how do we get better in our relationships and creating an environment and fostering a relationship that allows us to share our vulnerabilities without feeling like we're going to be facing fear shame or rejection Yes. Yeah. Great question. And what I would say is I believe that when there has been trauma or really deep wounding, there can be and there should be a place for solid, clinically informed Christian counseling. But I often tell people that, I mean, I have been doing this a while. And I mean, I think I God's gifted me. And I think I'm a decent counselor, but one or two hours a week is never of the best counseling is never going to be enough to replace um, the community that each one of us needs in the body of Christ to be, Mm, you know, fully known and fully loved. And so I think a counselor can be the first step, maybe, like maybe it's too overwhelming to trust Mm -hmm. in a church. And so maybe I go to a counselor first and I begin that secure attachment, but I'm always encouraging my clients, hey, you need a band of sisters for women or a band of brothers um, where you can be known and you can be loved. and, And in that process of confessing our sins, And praying for one another, that's how we experience healing. And so, um, yeah, so I I work with a lot of clients who are dealing with a range of of sexual brokenness, relational brokenness, um, depression, anxiety, um, anything and everything, really. And at the end of the day, it's a combination of, um, and Gary talks more about this in our all-day leadership summit, but there are certain things that only God can do for us, right? Like um, certain, um, well, only, there are certain things that only God can do, right? Like obviously save us, um, maybe uh, through prayer can deliver us from certain strongholds. But then there are other things that we have to do for ourselves. And that really goes against the self-pity and that inverted pride that we were talking about. So we need to learn how to carry our own loads and in that process to grow into the person that God's created us to be. Um, But then there are things that only community can do for us that we can't do for ourselves and God won't do for us. And, And so... I believe that it's the lack of confessional community, biblical community, that's causing the double living. Um, And then, of course, pastors who are struggling with sexual sin of some sort, you know, they're risking losing their livelihood, um, not being able to support their families if they come clean and that the church um, and if they're truly repentant then they should be put into a restoration process, not um, like what we've heard. And we know people that have been fired for confessing um, a porn addiction or something like that. And so um, we really want to help the church develop these environments, not where we're blessing people in their sin, but where we're calling them into the more of, of how God has designed them. And we would say specifically how God has designed them as a man made in his image or a woman made in his image. And it, 